It says in John 8, 12, I am the light of the world, and they that follow me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. One thing that we have heard about during this pandemic is so many people have loved ones and friends in hospitals that they can't visit. And they feel as if they could do more, but they can't. They can't go and see their loved ones. And perhaps there is nothing quite as difficult as watching someone that you love so dearly go through a challenge. Perhaps there's nothing as inspiring for us as watching a loved one triumph. And as they triumph, we realize that they weren't alone, that God is with them. Whether our loved ones are experiencing a challenge or a triumph, peace or confusion, we continue to decree the truth about them, that they are God's creation of light and love. And they're not alone. We think and we speak of them. We write or talk to them as ones who are blessed with God's wisdom, blessed with God's power, blessed with God's life. The truth about them is reflected in our voices, our eyes, our smiles. And it comes through even if we're FaceTiming them on the phone. We remind them and we remind others that we have the utmost confidence in them and in God working in their own lives and God surrounding them and protecting them. We know that they're loved by us and more importantly, that they are beloved of God. We pray that every person will realize this, as we seem to be separated, we are together. And we are the light of the world that comes through an email, that comes through any kind of video chat. It comes through even from a distance, a glance, that we follow God and we do not walk in darkness. We don't they don't. And we have the light of life in us, and they have the light of life in them. As we think about our loved ones, we uphold them in the highest faith, knowing that God is with them just as much as God is with us. God bless you.